Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video, using this part as an example, I will show you some interesting tools in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used both for hobby and commercial purposes. We can use this system in any way we want, we can install this system on any number of computers, and we can create paid projects in this system. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. And now, let's start a new project in the part design module. Select the part design module. This is one of the FreeCAD modules where we can create 3D models. We will start a new project here and at the beginning we will create a sketch on the XY plane because in this module the sketch is the basis for creating a 3D model. We do this by clicking create sketch and specifying the plane on which we will create this sketch. We have three basic planes of the coordinate system here. The XY plane, XZ plane, and YZ plane. We select the XY plane by simply clicking left mouse button on this plane. On this plane we will create a circle with a diameter of 100 millimeters, with its center coinciding with the origin of the coordinate system. To do this we select the circle drawing tool. We hover the cursor over the origin point of the coordinate system. When this point is highlighted, we click the left mouse button here and the center of the circle is constrained to the origin point of the coordinate system. Let's place the second point anywhere and then click the right mouse button to cancel the circle drawing command. As for the automatic constraints, I have enabled the automatic constraints and the automatic removal of redundant constraints options here. Make sure you have these options enabled as well because thanks to the automatic constraints, we could link the center of the circle with the origin of the coordinate system in this way. Now let's add the diameter of the circle. We select the circle and choose this command. We will enter 100 millimeters as the diameter of the circle. Ok, now let's create the second circle in a similar way. We select the circle drawing tool hover over the origin of the coordinate system, click with the left mouse button and draw the circle. Now let's set the diameter of this circle to 30 millimeters and click the right mouse button to finish this command. We click the close button to close the sketch and based on this sketch we will add an extrusion of 5 millimeters which means we will create a solid with a thickness of 5 millimeters this is the pad command. Select this command and here enter 5 millimeters as the pad length. Click OK to confirm. We have something like this. Now we will create another sketch on this face. To make this face a sketch plane, we click the left mouse button on this face and then click Create Sketch. Now this face is the sketch plane. As for zooming in and out, we do this using the mouse wheel. Select the circle drawing tool and place the center of this circle on the Y axis. When you hover over the Y axis, click the left mouse button to place the center of the circle here. Next, we will add the diameter of this circle. Select this command, click on the circle and enter 35 millimeters as the diameter of the circle and press enter to confirm. Then select this dimension and add the distance of this point from the origin of the coordinate system. Enter 55 millimeters as the distance and click OK. The sketch is complete, click close to finish the sketch. Based on this sketch we will add a pocket operation to create a cutout in this material. Select this operation and set the depth to Through All. Click OK to confirm. Now I would like to create something like this in six places on this solid. So we will use the polar pattern operation. Select this operation. Choose the polar pattern operation. The normal sketch axis is selected as the pattern axis but this axis coincides with the base Z axis, so we can select the base Z axis. Additional copies of this element will be arranged around the Z axis. 
enter 6 as the number of these elements, then click OK to confirm. We have something like this. Now let's create another sketch. Create a sketch on this face, select this face and click Create Sketch. Now select the Create External Geometry command and select this geometry. A reference geometry based on this edge of the model has been created and we can use this geometry in the sketch. Now select the Circle Drawing tool and place the centre of the circle on this line. When this line is highlighted, click the left mouse button and place the other point of the circle at one of these points. For example, place it at this point. When this point is highlighted, click the left mouse button here. I click the right mouse button to cancel this command. Now I drag the circle and as you can see at this point the circle is constrained to this point. The position of the circle at this point doesn't change. As for the center of the circle, we can move the center of the circle along this line. Let's add another constraint, select this point and the circle. Choose the constraint point onto the object so that we get something like this. OK, click close to finish the sketch. Now we add an extrusion. Select the pad operation and add the extrusion to the other side. Check the reversed option and as the type select to first so that the pad is made to the first encountered feature. Click OK and we have something like this. As for this line, don't worry about it at the moment, it's just a display issue and we can easily turn it off. All we have to do is select the last operation and change the refine parameter from false to true in the properties. Now this element looks like this. Let's create another sketch here. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. Select the Create External Geometry command again and select this edge. We got a reference geometry based on this edge. Now select the Circle Drawing tool and draw a circle whose centre will coincide with this point. OK, let's add a diameter of 7mm and close the sketch. Based on this circle, let's add the pocket operation. Select through all as the type and click OK. Next, let's add another sketch on this face. Select this face and select Create a Sketch. Again, select the Create External Geometry command. Select this circle to get the center of this circle and draw another circle. This time it will be a circle with a diameter of 15 millimeters. Click OK to confirm. Let's create another circle here. Select the Circle Drawing tool. Place the center of the circle at this point and draw a circle of approximately this size. Now click the right mouse button to cancel the circle drawing and select this circle and that circle. Choose the equality constraint so that this circle has the same diameter as the diameter of the hole. Close the sketch and now based on this sketch let's add an extrusion of 2 millimeters and click OK. Now I would like to replicate the elements we created in the other places on this solid. These are the last three operations, so I hold control and select the last three operations. Then I choose the polar pattern command. Here I select the base Z axis as the pattern axis and as the number of occurrences I enter 6. Click OK and we have something like this. This part now looks like this and the part I showed you at the beginning looks like that. To create a part like this from this part we need to use the mirror command here. However, if you select the last operation 
and choose the mirror command. Unfortunately, we cannot do it this way. I will cancel this operation. We can take advantage of the mirror operation, which is in the part module. To do this, switch to the part module. Select this solid and choose the mirror command. Here we have the operation selected and we choose the XY plane as the mirror plane. In this case we can use one of the basic planes of the coordinate system. We created this model in such a way that the XY plane can indeed serve as the mirror plane. Click OK and we have something like this. This is not the only way to do this but I wanted to show you that you can combine commands from different workspaces in one project. Now, this part and that part are two separate parts. If we want to get one single solid from these two parts, select both solids while holding control and choose the operation to merge two solids. Based on these two solids, we have one single solid. As you can see, there are such lines visible here, but as I mentioned earlier, this is just a display issue. We also have the refine parameter here. If we change this parameter from false to true, everything looks much better. As you can see, using this simple part as an example, I was able to show you some useful tools in FreeCAD. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.